everybody it's me lisa t coming at you with some hopefully positive energy i'm shaking right now <laughs> I'm, i need to do this video right now too i think just to like calm me down and get me back in the right mindset i've been thrown a curveball this morning from a person from my past has reached out to me and um yeah it's uh i think it's causing me to um use the tools I've learned by doing these readings and um, and make sure that I take care of myself in this moment um, and don't get codependent and all these things. So I'm, I'm, yes, anyways, it's me, Lisa T, coming at you with positive energy, reading the language of letting go by Melody Beattie. It's dark today, cloudy, so I gotta use my specs. Okay, February 1st, step two. So step two, like out of the out of all twelve out of all twelve step recovery programs, whether it's Al uh, Gamblers Anonymous, Alcoholics Anonymous, Codependents Anonymous, Overeaters Anonymous, they all use the same twelve steps. So this is step two for all of those. Whew. Came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. February first. Um, I know right now in this moment, I'm I'm in crazy mode. I'm in insane mode. Um, I'm in my I'm stuck in my head. I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, what I need to do to control this situation, what I need to do to, I, I, I'm thinking about, you know, should I do this, should I do that, should I do this, should I do that, I, like, um, so it might, I'm, I'm stuck in my head, which I've come to learn is like when, when I start to get the crazies, when it's like, uh, when, 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 I, when I sense that things are not okay, when they actually are okay. And I sense, or I sense that I can't handle this, that actually we can handle it. Whatever comes our way, we, we have all handled it, right? If you look back on past moments, that seems super hard. You've handled it, right? You're here now. So um, I need to learn this step today, or I need to work, practice this step today by recognizing that powers outside of myself are gonna make sure that this situation turns out okay. Um, powers outside of myself can help me right now just to live in peace, trust the moment, trust what's happening, and know that I don't have to control it. Something else will take care of business for me. Ah, I can just let go and relax, and then it's all good. See, it's powerful shit. <laughs> okay, step two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. We came to believe in a better life through the powerful gift of other people hearing them, seeing them, watching the gift of recovery at work in their lives. So we watch the gift work in others' lives and then we believe it can happen in ours too. There is a power greater than ourselves. There is real hope now that things can and will be different and better for us and our life. Like I said, this reading is going to be perfect for me right now because I know that like, it, you know, maybe I'm that person. You watch me and you see me go through tough times and then like, you know, get better and come out on the other side better and stronger and happier. So, um, yeah, I know that this stuff works and I know that there's hope and I know that because I work on this stuff that things will be different. I'm, I'm getting, I'm probably getting a moment from the past that I didn't live out well, um, for myself. And so I'm getting kind of a, you know, we get, we get lessons. We, we life will give us lessons and lesson after lesson after lesson until we learn the lesson. And most of us are hard nuts to crack, <laughs> restore us to sanity, the crazies, uh, hard nuts, <laughs> crazy nuts. So most of us are hard nuts to crack um, and it takes us many times learning a lesson before we like get it. So I think that might be what, what's happening for me today to do better for myself um, with a situation that maybe I didn't do so well for in myself in the past. Okay, there is real hope now that things can and will be different and better for us and our life. We are not in a do it ourselves program. And I already did this this morning. As soon as this, I, as soon as this moment came, I reached out for help, immediately called a friend. We are not in a do-it-ourselves program. We do not have to exert willpower to change. You don't have to exert willpower to change. We do not have to force our recovery to happen. Don't have to force anything, control anything, exert. We can just allow. That's what letting go is all about. Allow. Um, we do not have to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. Okay, you sit on your big girl pants here, you know, kind of thing. We don't have to do that. Um, by our bootstraps, just so we believe that there is a power greater than ourselves, one who will get the job done in our life, believing that something is gonna take care of this for me. The power will do for us what your greatest and most diligent efforts could not accomplish. I remember um, going through a breakup uh, like just over just over a year and a half ago, 
And when it happened, I was like, the first thing I said is, oh my God, God did for me what I couldn't do for myself. I couldn't end that relationship, even though it was like really toxic for me. Um, and then it happened and I was like, oh my God, I didn't even plan this moment. And it just happened. So something outside of me, you know, God did for me what I couldn't do for myself. And that's what happens in these challenging moments. If we can just stay sick, you know, believe, believe that something and believe that something is going to, that this is going to work out and don't get stuck in negative thinking, stay positive, stay Stay peaceful. Stay peaceful. It's like a plane going down. They say, "Don't panic, right? Don't panic," so that you can think clearly and do the next right thing. So that's what we. Need. That's you know. I think that's part of this right now too. So, this power will do for us what your greatest and most diligent efforts could not accomplish. Look, watch, see the people around you, see the healing they have found, then discover your own faith, your own belief, and your own healing. Discover it. Here's your prayer for today. Today, regardless of my circumstances, I will believe to the best of my ability that a power greater than myself can and will restore me to a peaceful, sane way of living. Then I will relax and let him do just that. <sighs> Amen. Have a great day letting go. Thanks for watching.